Anstruber versus Igor Sviantek is the second semi-final for Stuttgart for 2023. And both ladies have had to fight to get to this stage. Jabur started the tournament off as the number three seed and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she's taken Ostapenko, who just destroyed Raducanu in the first round. And after being down a set and a break, Jabur would fight back to win 1-6-7-5-6-3 to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Adaj Meyer, who'd just taken out Rabakina in the previous round. But this was no problem for Jabur, getting through in straight sets, 6-3-6-6 to get to the semis. Fiontech started the tournament off as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Zhang, a player that she had to fight last year a couple of times in some close matches. This was no problem for Fiontech, getting through in straight sets, 6-1, 6-4. In the quarterfinal, she'd take on Pliskova, who had taken out Zachary and Vekic to get to this stage. And this was brutal for Fiontech, starting down four love, with Pliskova taking the first set, having to fight back to win, eventually getting through in three, four, six, six, one, six, two, to get to another Stuttgart semifinal. These two have played five times before, with Fiontech leading the head-to-head 3-2, -head having won their last two meetings, and also winning their only match on clay last year in Rome. But back then, Jabur was coming off a very tough match the previous day, so it wasn't really a fair fight. If Jabur's going to win this one, she needs to use the variety. We know she can hit a great drop shot, and she did that against Adaj Maya, and also did that against Ostapenko in the comeback. But she also needs to weather the storm with Fiontech, because we know Fiontech can go on a little bit of a run. So like what she did against Ostapenko, try and keep her cool and try and just let the storm pass. If Shiontek's going to win this one, she needs to get off to a better start than she did against Pliskova because if she does that against Jabur, it's not going to be as good. Also, she needs to probably hit the ball a little bit harder and be a little bit more aggressive because, of course, Pliskova doesn't have the great defense that Jabur does. So she needs to make Jabur move a lot more and probably play a lot more shots, maybe even come to the net and volley. This is a very fun matchup, and we haven't seen this match since the US Open final where these two clashed, almost went three sets there in that final. So we're getting a rematch. But I'm going to go with Fiontech on clay. It's so hard to pick against her on clay. She only lost one match last year on the surface. So I'm going to keep picking her until she maybe loses a couple. If she loses a couple, I think she's going to win this one in three sets. But let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win this semifinal.